Hey everyone and welcome to another Photoshop CS5 quick tip. In some of the other quick tips I showed you how to fill a shape with color or with a pattern. Well now I'm going to show you how to fill an element with color. And an element can be anything from what you're looking at right here is a button and something else I've been playing with is furniture that I've gotten off of the websites to fill with fabrics and with colors and so in this quick tip I'm going to show you how to prepare your elements for color or patterns and before we get to the furniture part I want to show you real quick how to fill the element first of all okay so this element it's already a color it's been created this gold color and to fill it with another color to make it another color we want to take out this color so to do that I'm going to first you want to rasterize your layer if if your layer has this little square notched out here in the bottom right corner that means it needs to be rasterized otherwise when I go to try to change the color everything's grayed out mostly anything you can do that you would want to do with this layer would be grayed out till you rasterize it okay so once I rasterize it and and I do that just by right clicking and scrolling up to rasterize okay so now I'm going to click image adjustments and now nothing's grayed out anymore I'm going to go to hue and saturation and I'm just going to slide the saturation slider all the way to the left and you see how it just took all that gold color out click OK so now I want to choose the color that I want to make this button and I think I'm going to pick this this light purple see how that looks okay so to color this layer what I want to do is create a new layer above it I'm going to click on the create a new layer button and because the button layer was the one that was highlighted it created the layer the new layer right above that if one of these other layers were highlighted it would have created the new layer in between one of those but you want to be sure that that new layer is just above the layer that you want to color okay so with that new layer highlighted I'm going to click on the paint bucket tool and color that whole layer that purple so now to fill the button with the new color that I've colored this layer with I'm going to hold down my alt key and hover in between the button layer and the new layer and I'm going to when it, when the mouse icon changes I'm going to left mouse click and it fills my button layer now one of the things that the button is missing are those scroll the scroll design that was on it it's also missing the highlights so to bring that back I'm going to pull down this menu here and scroll up to overlay and there I've got my scrolling back and the highlights have reappeared also now if I don't like this purple I can play around with a couple other colors to see how I like some other colors so I've just clicked this green and that changed my foreground color to the green and I'll go ahead and fill keeping making sure that this this layer above the button is still highlighted and I can just keep choosing different colors till I find one that I like And that's really all there is to filling an element with color okay so let's get to our furniture 
Now, like I said earlier, this furniture I got from the IKEA website and I had to prepare it for color. And I prepared it the same way I did the button. I took away the, the color using the hue and saturation slider and I also erased the background so let me show you how that's done okay this is the love seat that goes with that sofa and chair that I just showed you and you see this the love seat is green but I'm going to go ahead and save it just by right clicking save image as I want to save it to my desktop I'm not going to rename it I'm going to let it stay the name that the IKEA website named it click save and it's telling me that it already exists because I actually did save that love seat already so I'll let it replace that love seat okay so now that that is saved to my desktop I'm going to open Photoshop back up and I'm going to click file open and I want to open that love seat and there's that green love seat and to prepare it for color and this opened it by the way in a new file it's not part of that file that the other two the sofa and the chair was on but I'm actually going to drag it onto that document after I prepare it. And I can prepare it in this document or bring it into the document that I was working on, which is this one. And I can prepare it there, but I'm just going to, it's going to be easier to just do it here. Okay, so now first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to erase this white background so that it's got an, a transparent background. To do that, I'm going to click on the eraser tool and I'm going to use the magic eraser tool. And just one click erases that whole background because it was a solid color. The other thing that I want to do to get it ready for color is I'm going to do the same thing I did with the button. I'm going to go to image adjustments, hue and saturation and I'm going to slide the saturation slider all the way to the left and that took out all that green. Now I want to click on my move tool here at the top and I'm going to drag it onto my other document. So I can close this now. I don't need this anymore. It's asking do I want to save the changes. I don't need to because they're already saved here. Now this is kind of tiny so I'm going to make it bigger. I'm going to click Control T so I get some handles here to drag it and resize it. I'm going to hold down my shift key so it resizes in proportion. And then click this checkbox up here to save that size. And that's a good size. Okay, so now we're ready to color our love seat. Now, as we did before with the button, I'm going to click create a new layer. And there's my new layer right there. And that layer, I'm going to keep the layer red, which was the last color that I chose for the button. And I'm going to click on the paint bucket tool and fill that layer with the red. And now I'm going to hold down my Alt key just like I did before. And when the mouse icon changes on a left mouse click to fill the shape of my couch and to get my highlights and my cushion depth and everything back I'm going to click on this pull down arrow and scroll up to overlay and now my green couch is red let's make that green couch purple real quick before we move on to the next step. Okay, so I've clicked on purple, changed my foreground to purple, and just fill that layer with purple. And it does a really nice job of filling that couch with the color. That's actually a pretty cool color. I like purple anyway. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is how to fill this 
love seat with fabric. So let me delete that layer and let's go to the Ralph or the Robert Allen um, fabric website. Let's see. Fabric. I'm going to use the fabric finder. Robert Allen. Let's look at some blue fabrics. Multi-purpose. I'm going to click all here. All here. Um, see, I don't want any solids in there because I already showed you how to do solids. Let me, let's do abstract and geometrics. And maybe some polka dots. We'll look at some polka dots. And I guess that'll do it. Let go. That kind of narrows it down to not having to look through so many fabrics to find something I want to cover my couch with. Well, that dot would work really good. To save the dot fabric, I'm just going to right click on it and save image as. I'm going to leave it the name that it gives it. Save it to my desktop. Click save. And let's look at some other ones. And what, what I'm looking for as I browse through these fabrics is I'm looking for something that will give me a nice clean repeat. Hmm, I wonder if that would work. That looks like I might be able to, mm, I'm missing, it's actually missing something on each side. So I'm not going to use that one. Actually, a lot of these would work. I picked blue in there. I'm not seeing a lot of blues. Actually, that one, this one right here, that would be a good one. I can get a nice clean cut out of that. Because you can see I've got, there's several repeats in this one. So I'm going to right click on that. Save image as. Save it to my desktop. And now I'm going to go back to Photoshop. And I'm going to click File. Open. And click on that blue fabric. Okay, now to get that fabric ready and to make it into a pattern, I'm going to click on the rectangular marquee tool and what I'm going to do is draw a rectangle. And I want to get a nice nice cut and think of this tool as your scissors and you want to get a nice straight cut where the repeat when it tiles will continue over here where it left off over here in the same up and down and as you can see I did that wrong because see right here this square right here I ended in the wrong square I needed to be in here so I'm simply going to redraw whoops I'm going to redraw I guess I'll start in the middle here and end up in the middle there. That ought to get me a really good repeat because you see where this starts, this ends, and the same on the sides. So 
So that's going to work really good. So now that I've got that selected or cut, however you want to, whatever term you want to use, you're going to go to edit and define pattern and it opens up this window and the pattern that it's creating is only within those marching ants and you can rename it if you'd like I'm gonna leave it the name it is and click OK I no longer need to have this swatch of fabric open so I'm gonna close it and now to fill this love seat with that fabric instead of creating a new layer I'm going to create an adjustment layer the adjustment layer icon is the circle that is dark and light on each side so click that icon scroll up to pattern and it fills a new layer with that fabric and you see how it repeats itself all the way across now I can slide this across and make that bigger or smaller but I want to wait to slide it back and forth to when it's on my couch so I can get put it more in perspective so I'm just gonna click OK and not worry about the repeat right now I'm gonna do the same thing I did earlier with the between the two layers I'm gonna hold down my alt key hover in between and left mouse click and there it filled my couch I'm gonna click on the pull down arrow here and scroll up to overlay and there it filled my couch with that pattern let me get that and it didn't make note of the repeat okay so the repeat is six so let's say about seven inches both ways just there about so and then in my in my pattern I think think going back and forth I had three so three times seven would be 21 this is an 85 inch couch half of that would be about 42 so that repeat needs to be much much different and I'm just guesstimating off the top of my head it doesn't have to be exact so to make this repeat bigger since it is bigger in in perspective with this couch I'm going to click on the fabric icon right here and I just left double clicked with my left mouse button and that opens this slider back up that we had earlier and I'm just going to slide it over that looks about right see there would be three repeats in there and that's about in perspective with the size of this cap so I'm going to leave it at that 176 and click OK and there we just filled the couch with that fabric let's try one more fabric okay so I'm going to go file open and I kind of liked how this fabric looked on that couch. I'm going to show you how it looks on the couch. So I'm just going to select this fabric that I chose earlier. And now I've got to get a nice cut out of it first. So I'm going to click on the rectangular marquee. And I'll start my cut right here. And stop my cut. right about there and what what how I'm determining that is I'm just looking where I start here I want the repeat to end here that way when it tiles where one side ends the other begins and it's a little tricky to get it especially with a design like this and a lot of fabrics that you find online don't have a complete full repeat and there are ways around that but you know you have to play with the fabric and and kind of build it up first before you get a nice clean cut out of it and that's that's a little little bit more advanced than what I'm showing you now okay so I have got my cut so I'm going to create that create a pattern out of that so I'm going to click edit define pattern 
and as before I'm going to leave it the name that it is click OK and now I can close that fabric swatch out I don't need it anymore I'm going to click on the adjustment layer create a new adjustment layer slide up to pattern and for now I'm not going to worry about the size of the repeat I'm going to wait till I cover the couch with it I'm going to hold down my alt key and hover in between the two layers left mouse click and there it filled my couch I'm going to pull down the menu to get to overlay click overlay that looks really pretty I think I like that color and it looks like the actual fabric filling the couch and the the repeat looks good too because I remember when I saved that I, I knew that I'd only get probably two and a half repeats in one cushion and that's just about what I have here and that's all there is to it hope you can find some ways to use the fabric fill and the color fill on your elements and objects till the next video thanks for watching bye